Hey guys, in my last video, we got Windows running on my 2012 MacBook Pro. In this episode, I'm gonna show you guys exactly where to download the files and how to do this. Let's get started. Uh, thank you to NT Dev for uploading this because it runs on a Macintosh, super smooth. Uh, so anyway, you guys, do have to log in uh just you can create an account real quick i think yeah you can even sign in with google so i think yeah i already did that so just sign in with your google account <clears throat> and now yeah it takes you to the home page so that's annoying so what you want to do is back up go back here uh refresh the page there we go and what you're looking for is actually over on the left hand side here so what you're looking for is over on the left hand side uh, you go back to the page after you sign in and you got ISO image here and you flip that down and you want 11 B2 no system requirements ISO because if you try to install either of these two it will come up with an error and say your system does not meet the requirements that Microsoft uh, says you need. Uh, what you want to do is find the bootcamp assistant so it looks like that. Open that up and this is going to assist us in creating the installer for bootcamp so okay so now this is important uh, bootcamp's going to perform uh, a couple of tasks here so uh, i've had issues with uh, just having it install automatically so uncheck that box right now all we need to do is create a windows 10 or later uh, install disk okay so you need a usb drive and the Windows 10 or later version ISO downloaded from Microsoft. So hit continue. Uh, it's gonna recognize that your disk is inserted and it's asking you to choose your Windows 10 ISO. So choose and go to your downloads and click the tiny B2 no system requirements ISO. Disk utility, so you can go ahead and open that up and then you want to find your hard drive right here, the Lexar, this is the internal one. I still haven't swapped out the drive yet, so it's a 256. And then come up here and partition. And so just click this plus sign here. And when it says, do you want to add a volume or a partition? Just click add partition. And the last time I did this, I gave it about 60 gigabytes. Uh, I think I might give it a little bit more this time. Uh, we'll give it around 80 and you can just if you can't get it right just come over here and type it in 80 gigs uh, now this is the important part here uh, you want to change it to xfat and then we can just name it boot camp and then hit apply and let it do its thing When we restart, you'll see EFI boot, Ventura, Windows, and then Windows EFI boot. All right, so the Windows installer comes up and you can just go ahead and click next. You tell it, I don't have a product key. And it's gonna say Windows 11 Pro. Go, go, go. accept your terms and now this is the part that kept messing me up a little bit so you click on the boot camp partition and this is going to be grayed out and it says you can't install on this one uh, it must be formatted uh, so go ahead and click format and hit okay and then click next and then let this roll and we'll be back after this installs after you get everything installed and it restarts you're gonna get caught in the boot loop and it's saying you know turn on the Wi-Fi or connect to a network uh, or otherwise it's just gonna get stuck in this boot loop and it's because we don't have the right drivers something is preventing it from starting up so you will need uh, an Ethernet connection and just go ahead and stick that in the side so 
I forgot I had to do this the last time. So just connect your wired network connection and then give it a few seconds so that it registers that it's connected and then hit next. And I believe I had to do this like a couple times because it gets stuck in a boot loop. So if it restarts, just keep trying it. Oh, and there it goes. Yep, so that's the trick. Just connect your ethernet cable so that way it can kick off the startup. And then just run through the startup. Okay, we're back up. Uh, when you first are presented with the Windows screen, uh, Boot Camp Assistant should pop up and this is gonna install all of the Apple drivers that are needed to get Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and everything else running. So go ahead and run through the Boot Camp installer. I accept your terms. All right, we're connected. And then go ahead and run your Apple software updates. And <clears throat> Now you may have to run through this a couple times, so it's going to restart. Uh, so it, it'll install all these things. So you got a Wi-Fi update for boot camp. You got boot camp, boot camp update. Um, there you go. So you may have to run through this a couple times. You got uh, Apple input device update, Wi-Fi update for boot camp, and boot camp update. So go ahead and install these. It's probably going to restart a few times. So restart it. Uh, once it restarts, run the Apple software update again. Hey guys, I got to download the Opera browser this time after I installed Windows. So I went to the Microsoft store, but after I disabled Windows Update, it wouldn't allow me to download anything from the store. I couldn't connect to Microsoft store. So I undid the update and downloaded Opera web browser. Well, I forgot to turn Windows Update back off and overnight, Windows installed 12 gigs of updates. So thanks Microsoft. Now Tiny11 is no longer tiny and it's running an extra one gig of memory and the CPU is like spiking up and down. So it just goes to show you uh, why it's important to turn off the updates, um, but Tiny11 is no longer tiny. So in my next episode, I'm gonna try my hand at Ghost Spectre, which is another tiny version of Windows that is directly geared toward the gaming community and it gets rid of everything. Uh, when I installed it on a virtual machine, it had only two applications installed, and it's got its own utility to turn off Windows Update with one button. So that'll be my next video. If you like this sort of content, guys, please uh, like, comment, uh, subscribe. I love answering your guys' questions. Um, and if you've got any ideas for what you'd like to see on my next video, hit me up in the comments. Thanks, guys.